pushed the wrong button twice. <laughs> but, there we go. Hello. Welcome. We're playing X4 again. <clears throat> hey, Crow Dragon. Sorry you missed X4 yesterday. You had family over for the day. You went better than expected. Most of you along. Ha! Huh, well, that's good to hear that uh, everybody got along. I... I have definitely experienced the the not always getting along thing, so that's uh, that's good to hear. Uh, and funnily enough, you didn't miss X4 yesterday because a windstorm did some damage to my roof, so I was fixing a roof instead of streaming. So on one hand, I had to go fix a roof. On the other hand, you didn't miss anything. Anyways, let's uh, let's get into it here. Uh, we are in xenon space somewhere, dealing with Thargus Cascade. These guys, right? So where we're at here is we've got the War of Intervention. Autopilot disengaged. That was really loud. So, uh, War of Intervention, we've got, um, these guys that cannot, for the life of them, fly. They're having just a really bad time. I was going to just abandon them and let them explode and try again with new ships. But since I have absolutely no idea how long it's going to take for them to die and how long it's going to take... Uh, to replace them and frankly I have no idea what I'm going to do in the meantime so I'm going to show the AI how to fly a Tokyo by stealing the Tokyo for myself Get out of here. it'll be great Crow, you see lots of salvage. Yeah. There's a lot of salvage there. Now, if only my salvage ships were tough enough that they wouldn't just explode. They came in here. I could actually make use of it. But, for now, we're going to just let it despawn. Okay, let's make sure I've got Marines. Okay, lots of Marines. Tokyo. You're going down. Let's swipe us a Tokyo. And they're probably going to just transfer command to that Tokyo. Hello, Kami. Tokyo. Which means I'm going to have to take that Tokyo too. But that's okay. Just waiting for the travel drive. Tokyo. All right, good old drive by. And oh yeah, perfect. Okay.
And... Bye bye. Pod launched. Moving to target. Now, what's the Tokyo going to be more interested in? The Xenon? Or Seven. my pods? Contact. Making preparations to reach. Got it. 40k away, that's good enough. Stay in formation. Nobody's dead yet. Hey, Pandorian, welcome to the show. Contact. Making preparations Thanks for stopping by. Well, if in doubt, take them all. Money to be made. Hey, yeah, why not, right? Okay, so there's one of them. Now, the other one, I wonder if I can get close enough to him to board him to... I actually have a suspicion here that I'm going to lose this guy, or lose the first attempt at this guy. Um, so, I should probably just hang on to my Marines. Um, what's the current goal? The current goal is to show the AI how to fly. Um, we are doing the War of Intervention mission for the Fate of the Yaki. And these two ships are the current assault force that the Terrans have sent to deal with the Yaki. And they cannot fly. They are... They're, they're abysmal. They're... I... You're going down. They managed to go from... Here... To here... While I was over here blowing up all three of these. So, they cannot fly. I was going to just let them die to the Xenon, but they actually did pretty good against the Xenon. So, now I'm going to board them. Because if I board them, I'm hoping the Terran will send me new ships that hopefully have better captains. <laughs> Crow, the goal is try to take over the galaxy. Yes, that is a good old pinky in the brain. I friggin' loved that show. Okay. Alright, we're gonna do this turbo mode. But yeah, if you see here and watch, even when they aren't under attack, that's all they do. They just... That's it. So it's pretty, pretty lame. Hey, Necromancy, welcome to the I show. Need an update. So I'm taking over Preparing ships in the hope breach. they send better ships for me to take Zip over. Uh, almost. Green. I'm taking over ships in the hope that they send better ships with better captains that can actually complete their objective. Because these ones can't. These ones are terrible. Crow, you still do like picking the brain? I I mean, I, I say loved because I haven't seen it in, in 20 years or more. So... If it was still on TV and I was still watching it, I'd still say it. Hey, Icock, welcome to the show. Just boarding the Terran fleet? Exactly. Board, board away. Uh, is this the attack fleet against the Xenon? Yes, it is. Um, attack fleet against the Yaki. Xenon, Yaki. Yeah, it's the uh, the Fate of the Yaki War of Intervention mission that I'm doing. Now, am I getting shot, or why am I... Why did I get knocked out of Sita? Oh. Okay. 
I want to keep the speed speed up to make this faster. No, oh, I got shot again. Oh, you can see me over there. Oh, they got to get through the xenon first. Yeah, they do need to get through the xenon first. That is true. So I'm sure they will do plenty of damage to the xenon. We were doing a lot better right up until um, when, when, when this mission first started, the Terrans had an Asgard. And I had an Asgard. And the Terrans got way too close to the Xenon shipyard, and their Asgard blew up. Then I got too close to the Xenon shipyard, and my Asgard blew up. And the rest of the Terran fleet got wiped out. And this is Terran Fleet 2.0. And it is definitely a downgrade from the original fleet. Get out of here. I don't know how long this is going to take. But I don't want to just, you know, shoot the Tokyo. Because I really don't want to wreck my reputation with the Terrans. And I keep getting shot by Xenon so the Sita doesn't stay active. Like, come on! I guess I could at least suck up some loot. Beauty. I bet they're gonna they're they're gonna just drip feed me just enough that I don't get to speed. And why is there a Kurokami just hanging out? What is his deal? Alright, come on, blow him up. Come on. Single Yaki chilling there. I know, yeah. Like, what? What's his deal? What? Like, he's clearly trying to shoot this Tokyo, but it's not working. It's like he doesn't actually have any guns or something. There we go. Speed. Oh, there we go. Now he's maneuvering-ish. Okay, he's not mad at me anymore. I'm going to go back over there. So if I take over the ship, do the fighters on board become mine too? That's a really good question. I've never taken over a ship that had docked ships. <clears throat> I'm going to have to find out. I feel like they should. But at the same time, in order for them to, to do that, they'd have to kill the pilots of all the fighters. I do get the docked ships. Cool. Thank you. Uh, according to Pandorian, I get them. According to Icock, I don't. <laughs> we will find out. Man. So many lasers going on. I 
can't throw you have to throw down your weight. <laughs> I mean, I, I think you are the resident expert right now. So, um. I'm inclined to believe what you say. I cock, you think you need to board some Tokyos? I mean, if... I, I wouldn't have even Tokyo. considered boarding a Tokyo if it wasn't, you know, strictly necessary to accomplish my goal. Because, you know, the only... The only carrier I care about is the Raptor. Because it's just the coolest. Everything else is kind of subpar. Okay. Can I please get travel drive yet? Nope. Can't get travel drive. P. Because of that little guy. How dare you! That's a lot of lasers P. doing a lot of no, no damage. Oh! You are free to engage. Heck yes. Tokyo. Now, of course, I have not scanned Striking. this ship, so I have no idea what's what's defending them. I need an update. Falling back. All right, come on. Send back up. Sit rep. Continuing combat. People are dying. This is not good. They say it's too risky to engage. You're going down. You're taking heavy losses. Man, I'm no Tell them to fall back. No kidding, I'm taking heavy losses. These guys are dropping fast. Vendorian, you haven't really played since you finished your trade playthrough. I mean, trade rank extreme. I mean, I I would, I would take a break after that too. That's that's insane. I cock. Yeah, well, you hate the carrier. All ships trying to dock every time instead of attacking your target. Enemy ships taking minutes to dock. Yeah, the the fighter AI is still not good. I will definitely Sit give it that. Up. Let's get there. All right. I don't have a whole lot of hope here. I'm still losing guys in pretty thick batches. I'm gonna guess they've got a lot of marines still. I need an update. Falling back. We're taking heavy losses. Tell them to fall back. Nine guys, yeah. The commander is dead. We're getting hammered in here. Ah! Two guys left. All right, come on, travel drive. Mission failed. And I can't travel drive because there's too many of them. Because as fast as they can build them, they're sending them to me. <sighs> Time for thicker batches. That was the thickest batch I could send. You can only send as many people as they can they can support. Um, total crew, unfortunately. Mm. Allying with the remnant comes with the next relic mod. Hey, Tanya, welcome to the show. Uh, that's from our conversation we were having on Saturday. Good to know. The, the next mod is on my list if I ever ever play a modded game so that'll be interesting 
WTF was the death scream? Yeah, it was, uh... No, my mana core! Hold on. What's going on? Why are my mana cores exploding? Literally just didn't get to a station fast enough. <sighs> Man. This guy's retreating, so... Yeah, yeah, it was just a tide. Friggin' tides. <laughs> Apparently she was indeed getting... <laughs> they, uh... Voice acting is not always stellar. Mandorian, <laughs> you blame Icock. 99% of the reason your mana cores die. I think in this instance it was uh, it was the tide. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna try a drive-by without doing the pause button. But our new would stand more chance than you. Alright, here we go. Travel drive is engaged. Pod launched. Moving to target. Stay sharp. Not bad. But of course my ship just immediately stopped. Contact. Making preparations right, well, to let's breach. GTFO as fast as possible here. Steady. Contact. Making preparations to breach. Alright, so far nobody's got exploded. Steady. Contact. <laughs> Making preparations. And you sound Suspicious of the tide, hey? Uh, Tanya, are these base game ships? Uh, like Pandorian said, they are uh, expansion ships, so they were part of the DLC. Uh, but yes, they are not mod ships. They are... They are vanilla ships, just not base game ships. So to get to get the Terran ships, you need the Cradle of Humanity expansion, or DLC, depending on your point of view. Okay, I now have no Marines left. Get out of here! So I'm gonna go for a fly to get more Marines. Boarding pod under attack. No! Did I ever find out the Protection recipe? Um, the Protection, um, if, if we're talking spoilers, spoilers, everybody, um, Protection cannot be made, it can only be harvested. So it, um, there is a place in Leap of Faith. Uh, there's a space station right here that creates Protection and dumps it in space. So you have to pick it up from get here. Out of here. That's how you get it. Uh, Leap of Faith is not player green. <laughs> I'll get around to it, Pandorian. I, I I intend to deck out the headquarters really well and just jump the headquarters in. Can I travel drive yet? Nope. Man alive. Yeah. 
what is the brown thing that I'm on? Uh, this? Uh, this is the bridge of my ship. If that's what you mean, Tanya. Uh, if, if not, um, be a little bit more specific, and I'll do my best to tell you. Leap of faith is where you hung out in your trade saves and something happened there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's kind of genius. Yeah, not like anybody else can get in, hey? Right, the ship, the ad ah, yeah, sorry. The ship, yeah, Pandorian, it's the Asgard. It is the biggest, baddest, meanest Terran ship. Um, and the ship with the most concentrated firepower. It's brown because of the lighting. Um, it's brown partly because of the lighting and because I have a gray um, paint job on it. Be good if you could make it and sell it. Make and sell Asgard's or make and sell Protection. Um, I can harvest and sell Protection. Uh, it's just a little bit more complicated than just manufacturing it. Engaging. Let's get them. That sounded like my aha boarding operation. We're taking heavy losses. See how well this goes. It looks like a carrier. Uh, it is definitely not a carrier. Um, I, don't think we can make it I just want to watch watch these guys die. Ah. And I will show you. Um, it has one very gigantic gun. Get out of here. We're taking heavy losses. Come on, Marines. They say it's too risky to engage. Tell them to fall back. Oh, I'm about to lose my my overlay We're here. Taking heavy losses. Danger. Have entering. I'm calling it. Abort. Get back to your pods. No, don't abort. You can't abort. Uh... Where do you go? Yeah, they're done. They're done. So long. All right. Autopilot engaged. Uh, okay. So, uh, as we were saying, so it's definitely big like some of the carriers, uh, but it does not have landing pads. Uh, like, for instance, these things here, well, they look cool. These are not landing pads. And the entire ship, basically, is one gigantic gun. So the gun starts here and extends all the way along. All right, I've got Danger. my my real big region detected. Uh, my real big FU laser that looks like this, and you should be able to see it here. Uh, sort of, not really. Uh, and this giant laser does incredible amounts of damage. Once again, I am dropping frames like crazy. Why? What is the problem here? Man, my bitrate is all over the place. Erg. Danger. Hazardous region detected. 
No one else freezing up. Yeah, Tanya, that's... Yeah, that's... That's my internet being suck, apparently. Dropping frames. It'll it'll come back and then it'll go away and then it'll come back and go away. It's gonna be it's gonna be a problem tonight, I think. <clears throat> Selling cheap Protection could help my standing with the Riptide. Select by their unique shields. I've never looked into the Danger. Hazardous region Riptide detected. stuff, actually. What is my what is my reputation with Riptide? Plus 14. Not quite good enough. I was hoping that the Manticores would you know, get me some standing, but maybe not enough. This guy still cannot auto salvage. Pain. So it's essentially a Mac in a way. It is, um, it behaves very, very similarly to a Mac. Uh, however, Danger. it's not a projectile detected. weapon. It's a laser weapon. Um, but it, it, it serves the exact same function. Yeah. Autopilot disengaged. Definitely have to upgrade your tiny 16 gigabytes of RAM. Sometimes having FPFs drops even using the 3060 Ti. Uh. Danger. Hazardous. I don't know, detected. Icot. Um. It, I mean, I, I don't know your exact system. situation, but I. Choice. Um. 16 gigs of RAM should realistically do the job. Uh, I mean, more is obviously, you know, better. Um, but you know, that's that's what I'm running, you know, 3060 Ti. But I do have a lot more RAM. But I'm still dropping frames too. But but I'm dropping frames because of my internet, not because of my computer. Crow, your internet is dropping in and out due to roadworks up the road. Oof. That's rough. It's like, it is, it's like completely out of your control. You can't even call the ISP and complain because it's like, yep, roadworks. Pandorian, you don't think you could go back to manually flying in Asgard after your fight farming? Um, is that what you used when you were farming Extreme, was the Asgard? Huh, look at that. I'm uploading zero frames per second. That's not, uh... Oh, man. Alright, so all, all I can say about this is 
I'm also recording a local version of the stream that I'm going to upload to YouTube. So at least when it hits YouTube, it won't be stuttery like this. But that's still extremely frustrating. I, I don't understand why my internet just does not want to behave. Oh, you use the Earl King. Way better. Hey! Dang it! And you have stream delay, so you're refreshing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure I'm causing that somehow, too. Okay, back in, back in business. And Penorium's back. Welcome back. Unfortunately, you refreshing your page will not fix my drop frame problem. Would you come back and it loses more frames? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Icock, you've got a Ryzen 5 600X, RTX 3060 Ti, and you looked into MSI Afterburner and saw that RAM was maxed out while CPU and GPU were relaxing. Okay. Uh, what uh, what were you playing that was maxing out your RAM? Behemoth Vanguard. I actually wouldn't mind trying out a very RAM-heavy game to see how much of my RAM it would actually use, because I'm sitting pretty on 64 gigs of RAM. I've never seen anything use more than, like, 20. Entering system, Argon Prime. Uh, Pandorian, you posted your Earl King stats in Discord, you think? I'm sure you know the ship with your stack current of dying. We were forming trade. Oh, man, that sucks. That's what happened to my last Asgard. It had all my good marines on it. And poof, gone. I was not impressed. Argon Shipyard. Right, I gotta hit the top up there. Ready to hit the brakes. Docking granted. I bounced off. Beautiful. Uh, it was X4. Oh, okay. So here's here's the here's the goofy thing about X4 though. Is when the game is running, if you alt tab over to something like MSI Afterburner, it actually suspends the game. Which means your uh, it basically stops rendering and it stops simulating, which will mean very little low on your CPU, very little low on your GPU. But because the game is still holding all of that stuff ready to resume, it's still going to hurt your RAM. 
or hit hit your ram pretty hard. Um, so done. looking at it like that is not a We're fair welcome you aboard. assessment of what the actual performance of the game would be. I need crew. Back to the fight here. Please on. We will be scanning your cargo hold. That's fine. You can go now. As expected. Uh I messed that up. Okay, no, there we go. And then there's also the unbounded queue of pop-ups. Not sure what you mean, Pandorian. Pop-ups in what? Jump gate, I take fast choice. There we go. Please don't run into the edge. Just just float. Nice. Entering system. That's what I need I to see. Fast choice. Alright. Gate. Notifications in the bottom left. Have you actually flown a real ship before? Oh, the the this this ticker right here? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that thing that thing has gone nuts on me on more than one occasion. Just return on trade notifications that Q will just keep growing because you do trades best to each other. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. That that would be brutal. You'd have you'd have those those messages just rolling for an hour, just going. Oh can't imagine. M. Requesting permission to dock. Hi, exploded. Yeah, Tokyo has still not moved. Still in the same place. Like... Okay. Uh, this guy is full of Marines. So I should have done this differently. I should have just transferred all my Marines from this ship to my Asgard. Instead of flying out here myself. But I, you know, brain fart. <laughs> I flew it instead. 
wasting time and all that. Uh, it's not fun because custom alerts are also tied to that and going to your map can delay them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would, uh... That would suck. I mean, I guess the answer there is just turn off trade notifications. Because otherwise you're going to just be in trouble. So you can get an alert for Xenon Ks in Commonwealth Space, and you're not going to get the alert until they're two sectors in. Yeah. Yeah, if it stacks up really bad, Danger. yeah. Hazard entering system. Barca's cascade. Yeah, that's kind of it's kind of sucky. However, on the plus side, it it doesn't skip notifications. Like you will get all your notifications. They'll just be you know delayed. Fly. See, I just got an audio alert. I don't even remember what that audio alert's for, though. Super Highway, Barca's Cascade, 17. Um. Danger, hazardous region detected. No. That uh, was the warning for the cock. Okay. But who saw cock? Don't know, can't tell. Still hasn't delivered stuff yet, eh? Oh man, yep, going all the way to the Argon shipyard was really dumb. This is such a long fly. Not cool. Danger. Hazardous region detected. specific sound just for the cock? Yeah, yeah, I did. Because they're that annoying. You just turn into uncaring corporate Pandorian. <laughs> sure number of ships you lost and replaced is just kind of staggering. Yeah, it, you can definitely get to that point, hey? Really? Game... Are you kidding me? You were buying a thousand ships at a time every time you did replacements. Holy! Danger! Hazardous region detected. That sounds like effort. Reminds me of the word "love your money." <laughs> I bet, yeah. <clears throat> but when you're when you're queuing up an order, the most you can select is a hundred, right? So you had to go in and actually do like 10 individual orders just to get to that many ships. I mean, I think I think the most I ever ordered at one time was 300. And I think those were fighters. But I was rocking over 200 behemoths at one point. But this sounds like this was your your trade game, which means that all thousand of those would have probably been freighters, I'm guessing. Danger. Hazardous uh, X for the bounce simulator. 
<laughs> I know. <clears throat> At the moment, I'm very glad there's no collision damage because, ugh, I would lose so many ships. Entering Barca's ten, ta ten stacks of 100 Penarine, yeah. Windfall Station is amazing. Oh, what? what uh, so what, what was the actual ship you were buying? Oh, crap. It's a K. Unknown ship. I was going to try and board them instead of letting them explode, but now they're going to explode? It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. That ship is mine. I want that ship to surrender itself to me. The K needs to die. Uh, oh, you were... 3D printing vultures. Okay. Yeah. Because, yeah, the Alliance Station. Yeah. Heck yeah. Those are good. Oh, look at them all. It's all right. I will save the Tokyo. Hello, Xenon K. Goodbye, Xenon K's engines. Goodbye, Explosion Xenon K. Imminent. Get out of here. That's just not good enough. No, he did take out a Tokyo. Darn it. Tokyo. <sighs> Man. Uh, all right, well. I guess I should scan this one first. And you also bought a ton of Rayleigh's uh, S-ships for your power substations. Yeah. The K dies. The K died. Unfortunately, he killed the Tokyo first. But our new would stand more chance than you. Which is not, not okay. Oh, and I'm stuck on... I'm stuck on Little Fighter Rex again. Get out of here. Come on. Scan. You really need to do a gameplay where you veto vultures. It's just too good having your private private war fly from. Yeah, it's pretty handy, hey? I can see it. Alright, so legit, I just cannot scan that ship. So, I'm going to just board it anyways. Pod launched. Moving to target. Stay sharp. Get out of here. Pod I just got to get damage. far enough out of the way. Requesting immediate backup. That I don't just immediately nuke Steady. that ship with all my guns. Contact. Making preparations to breach. Contact. Making preparations to breach. Got it. Okay, I think we're okay. Steady. Contact. Making preparations to breach. The scanner is really frustrating though when you try to use it on a big ship like this. Steady. Contact. Making preparations to breach. Contact. Making preparations to breach. Got it. Space debris. Uh, Icock, maybe you should go to Egosoft and tell them they're phased to fix these course. bugs. You live 40 minutes away from them. <laughs> nice. Hmm. 
Man, yeah. that, that would be pretty awesome. Going and touring their Contact. office. Making preparations to breach. But I, I would probably wouldn't have the guts to tell them to their faces to fix the bugs. I talk a big game on online, but but end of the day, I I really love the game they made, so I couldn't be too hard on them. <clears throat> so do you buy from the pizza place? They have to make the the pizza place in game is that a real place for near breach. their office? Sit rep for real. Green. Tokyo. Get out of here. I lost two boarding pods in that assault. Okay. That's not terrible, I guess. Go! Move it! You are free to engage. Group leader, we spotted enemy activity. All right, transfer in crew. And buying more crew. We're taking heavy losses. Are Tell you? them to fall back. I mean, you're doing okay. I need an update. I have a team working on bypassing the lockdown. I need enough. I'm losing people way slower fire. on this Tokyo than on the last one. They are still dropping pretty hard. Though. Continuing engagement. Xenon P. Stop maneuvering. Falling back. Get out of here. Got him. They say it's safe to engage. Yeah, they do advertising for food places near their office since they go there so much. That's amazing. I love it. I 100% approve of that. Yes, yes, yes. Cannot hit S ships with this Get laser. Out of here. Get out of here. Good one. Tokyo. I got it. Yes. All right, let's get in there and defend. Repair oh, and now the repair drones are out. See, the AI can turn off the repair drones, but I can't. Tokyo. Like, I mean, come on, guys. Cannot disable them. Tokyo, you're in rough shape. So, there's no pilot, right?
Just fly away. I'm gonna cover you. Ooh, hold on. I captured... I captured the Tokyo. My mission is still pointing to the Tokyo. So the game doesn't care. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. That means I have to sell the ship. Hopefully. Hopefully that's all it takes. Okay. So he's flying, but not. Maybe his engine is broken. No, engine is not broken. Oh, yes, it is. 16%, it's broken. That's why he can't move. Okay. It's fine. All right, but now what am I going to do while I wait for this guy? the Terrans aren't going to send anything else. Hmm. Oh dear. Okay. The Xenon are here to ruin my fun. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Asgard. Let's do this. Turn faster, you get stupid boat. You shoot me. Okay, good. I mean, not good, but at least he's shooting me and not my Tokyo. Oh, come on. Let me get in range. Or, or you know, rotate. So I've got a firing solution here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Explosion imminent. Save Alright, but that ship did bring a lot of friends. Yep, friends.
Okay, so this ship... has 77 marines. Okay. Alright, we're gonna transfer... All the high star pilots. We're out of one stars. Let's go down to garbage pilots. And give them some of ours. Come on, zero star. Still zero star. Wow, we've got a lot of these guys. My ship is like a moving microwave. Oh man, it makes so much noise when those lasers fire, don't they? That's really bad. Okay, now we're into... More or less like... For like... Get so a few more, two more. Okay, good. Let's confirm that trade. Okay, best crew is less than half a star. That's what we want to see. Okay, the mission did. No, no, there it is. It's still, it's still up. Okay, we're gonna try. There we go. Okay, having some odd personal problems. It just needs the ding to let me you know it's done. <laughs> yeah. It's like, enemies defeated. Ding! That'd be great. Okay, now, to see if it will let go of this stupid objective of its, we are going to... Where... Am I just blind? No. At least I'm going to you. There we go. There we go. When I captured the Tokyo, I captured one of them, yeah. The other one got blown up. Um, but the problem I'm having here is I captured it, but it uh, 
still thinks it's an objective. How many ships did it have? Um, good question. Where? 13, there it is. 13 docked ships. Guess I could try selling those ships, eh? Make me some money. Let's find out. Let's sell them to their own people. Let's sell them to... I'm completely upside down. That's why I'm so confused. There we go. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I want to sell. So what am I looking for here? I'm looking for... Oh, but I want Sigaris. I'm in the wrong place still. There we go. Sell ships. Sell. Yeah, free money. They need pilots. Oh, nuts. Oh, some of them went. Okay. It's just two of them decided they wanted to stick around. That's fine. I'm going to sell this whole ship later anyways. As soon as its engines are back on. Tokyo. Stream is gonna kill that message. <laughs> oh yeah, it totally did. Yeah, for sure. Hull is down to nine percent. The 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 hull of that engine has dropped. It's only so much I can do here, guys. It's only so much. They fix it? Apparently they did, because yeah, now now uh, the other one's undocked as well, I guess. That's handy. Yeah, I don't have any... No fighters stuck to my ship now. Okay, so we're going to sell the Tokyo. Because it's not going to move here for a while. Uh, did they patch it so that the sold ships are being used by the faction instead of just disappearing after they die? Or, I don't think so. Um, because it used to be, in the original version of the game, that the faction would use the ships you sold them. At some point they changed that so that they just get deconstructed. I don't think they've changed that back so I think we I, I think we we watch them fly and then they disappear all right I'm gonna sell the Tokyo The ship has orders to use configuration. Okay. Let's lose that. It's not going anywhere anyways. Okay, it is now an Argon ship. Okay, there we go. Capturing the ship does nothing. Selling the ship does nothing. 
Stop your attack immediately. It's just a matter of the game has decided that that's not how this works. So it has to get blown up for me to get new ships. Darn it! That's... That stinks. Mainly because... These things suck the fly, and it's going to take... I should have just left the K alone. And let the K just do all the damage to these things. Alright, I've learned my lesson. It only cost me an hour and a half. But, all in all, that's not too bad. Couldn't just do the job myself. I mean... If I recapture it... It's technically my ship again. And then I can shoot it with impunity and not worry about damaging relations. I guess that's the answer. Reboard the ship. and then shoot it when it's mine. In what universe does that sound sane? Board the ship, take the ship, blow the ship up. Got no guns left. I should be fine to just board from here. You don't think I can capture a second time? Impossible. Darn it! That's not good. They broke that, too. Man. Alright. Let's see how much rep I lose for blowing this ship up. Alright, Argon. So long, Argon. Stop your attack. Explosion imminent. One. Okay. Danger. That's 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 okay. He was have checkmate. Yeah. It's like fine. You won't let me do what I wanted to do. I'll just blow it up. N. All right. Uh, didn't I try this mission with my other sword playthrough and almost pulled my hair out because the ship didn't move? Uh, on my other playthrough, no. I, I went a different... I, I picked a different storyline. Uh, so I didn't do this. I don't remember that. Just recently, I was flying in Asgard in a fight near a space station and my ship was stuck on the wrecks and I couldn't move. That was infuriating, but that was this playthrough. Alright, time till next invasion attempt, 13 minutes. So, I'm gonna go take a real quick break here. Uh, 
and when I get back, we can go meet up with the next Terran Force, and hopefully they fly better than this one. We'll just autopilot out here. Autopilot engaged. Like so. All right. Sit tight, folks. I'll be back in five.
Okay, and I'm back. Uh, did the autopilot manage to do anything? No, not at all. Okay, wonderful. Coffee time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I am beat. Coffee is coffee is good. They really broke autopilot. Autopilot was not this this bad in 4.20. What is it doing? Unless autopilot flies through this pillar, this isn't going to work. Could I hit enter real quick? Sure. What are we looking at? Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you want to call it? Yeah, it's going to be All right. I can do that. All right, so let's go. And just slam Z's. <laughs> I like it. Oh yeah, look at this. Autopilot is on and stuck and just cannot fly through the accelerator. Oh, what a joke. What an absolute joke. Autopilot disengaged. All right, how do I do this? Just autopilot. Again? Autopilot engaged. Maybe. Maybe it's reconfiguring? Or relocating and maybe it's going to do properly now? I don't know. It's going into travel mode right here. No. Autopilot disengaged. Autopilot is just not. Cannot handle an Asgard. That's all there is to it. Just can't do it. Wait, am I below it? Yes.
ish. Alright, let's go. Now I need travel drive. There we go. <clears throat> See if I can avoid running into anything here. Oh yeah. I shouldn't clip anything. And warp. Danger. Hazardous reach entering Arcus Cascade 15. If I get another Asgard, I should I could call it microwave. Well, if I get another Asgard, feel free to name it. Alright, so the plan was to meet the new Terran fleet in Hatikva's Choice. By the time I get there, that fleet should already be underway with how stupid slow the autopilot was. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Well, since I'm not using autopilot, let's lose the guidance. All right, it looks like the fleet is underway. Danger, hazardous region. Let's have a drink. I can do that. Spear of Odin. An Asgard. Yes. Okay. This is a much better, much better ship to be flying with. Entering system, a take fast okay. choice. Every time I open the map, bzzz. <laughs> well, only if it centers on me, but if I center on myself, bzzz. <laughs> I love how bloody long that thing is. Like it, it, it actually falls over the box for it. <laughs> That's so good. I love that thing. All right. Uh, while we're waiting for this Asgard, can I? manage any of my empire advanced electronics let's get some some of this research done i have an advanced electronics fab right here And 
and it is why is it short on electronics that doesn't make any sense oh no it's showing me the debits okay that's fine not a problem that's what I need. And it doesn't have any ships itself. It only has... Couriers. No, advanced electronics. Okay. Okay, do I have a manual trader anywhere? Raleigh is on repeat. You're on repeat. Everybody's on repeat. Okay. I don't need that many. Why are you just flying and waiting, buddy? Get moving. My albatross is just hanging out waiting. Yeah, Asgard is hanging out waiting. Delilah Swan Song, that's fine. Discoverer. Can't trade with a Discoverer. Falx. Can Evil, what is this? That's my Astrid, okay. Oh, there we go. There's a Mercury. Okay. We're going to use the Mercury. Might as well just eject. Advanced Mercury. And then the other thing I need is weapon components. Right? Yep. Now, do I make weapon components yet? No. Okay. Station is buying them. Oh, and selling them. Okay. Weapon components. Four. He's selling four. That is going to do me no good. Everybody is selling. No, everybody is buying. Nobody is selling. Which I guess kind of makes sense why prices or why I haven't managed to get any. He's buying. Like, really, everybody's buying. Oh, man. Oh, what did I lose? Terran police are mad because of illegal goods. What? What's... What's illegal... What is illegal in Terran? Okay. 
Do I have any EMPs? I can get plans with the scrapper for more time. I... I'm pretty sure I do have EMPs. Actually... Protectorate. Illegal wares. Somebody probably picked up space flight eggs. I'm going to enjoy sending you to the scrappy. Probably what happened. Man, that sucks. I'm not sure if you can actually steal scrapper. It's classified as process. Oh, is it? Maybe not then. I would definitely say it would, it's going to be on my list of things I need to do. Bad news, pilot. Piece of junk. Oh, there's a guy right there. It's expensive, but it's good enough. There we go. Alright, there. Now it's as if I've actually done something. Why are you still stuck there? He was cruising just fine. when he was coming through the asteroid belt. And he's been just sitting here for a very long time. There he goes. Oh, he was waiting for his buddies. Okay. He was waiting for two more Tokyos to show up. Alright, we're doing this with Sita on. I want to watch these guys go. I don't understand. They're flying sideways at a leisurely pace. Instead of just going for their objective. That's okay. That was a temporary thing because of the SCA. Not anything important. We're okay. No, still not good enough for... Xenon messing up my speed mode. Come on. You're done for. I can take more than that. Eat space. I'm going to enjoy sending you to the scrap unit. Useless pile of junk hardware. Now they're stuck over here. Okay, got your scrap. No trades found. 
deliver salvage. And finally, Okay, they jumped another one. Damage is getting serious. Who is? Quantum Tube Courier in Grand Exchange 3. Did they get him? They got her. <laughs> My patrol ships are fighting back, but they're not doing good enough. Hey, oh, Nolan, welcome to the show. How are you doing tonight? This morning, for you, I guess, at this point. I'm tired? <laughs> well, go to bed. <laughs> but, uh, oh man, I'm, uh, I'm really beat myself, actually. What have you been up to? Uh, Adam Mercury. Right there. Courier can exchange quantum tubes Mercury. Quantum tubes. And then who uses quantum tubes? Um, He buys quantum tubes. Just him, I think. All right. Sell to. Done deal. Save. Uh, you were just playing The Long Drive with Unholy, some very janky indie game that has an even more jank multiplayer beta. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Um, but you will lurk for the view, but you need to get some sleep. Yeah, absolutely. It's 4 a.m. The builder who's doing construction on your house gets here at 7. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Poor life choices, Nolan. Really. But uh, anyways, all right. Thanks for the lurk. Uh, have a good night. Asgard has made it to Argon Prime. Fortunately, you have no interaction with him. Uh, but his saw and drills are very loud. As I would expect, yeah. yeah. Con construction is generally pretty loud. All right, can I get some speed out of you, Asgard? Time to wipe you out. Sorry about that. Oh, just shoot him. Good. Speed? There we go. Asgard. There he is. 
the Spear of Odin. Spear of Odin has absolutely nothing on bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Oh, come on, speed. There we go. All right, the Asgard is already that in that really system. Alright, this is so much better. The Asgard is actually flying. Danger. Hazardous reach entering system. Barca's cascade. Okay, now where... Like, I want to shoot that defense station here. But he's suddenly really far out of the way, isn't he? Yeah. Forget it. Let's go meet up with our Terran buddies and let's do this. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Superhighway. Barca's Cascade. 17. Okay. Now, hitting this is going to be a trick. Because I think they're at a pretty good angle. Yeah. Okay. I guess I just hope for the best. These guys are Danger. making good time again. Hazardous this is nice. Detected. They are officially further than the Tokyo's ever made it. And that was not my fault. They just suck. And I blew them up because they sucked. P. P. Unknown ship. Well, somebody's shooting at them. P. Kukri. Kukri. That's from the Tokyo. I blew them up? Yeah. With what ship? With the bzzz. I bounced. I'll no. Danger. Hazardous region detected. <laughs> Alright, little lasers, do your job. That could be your last mistake. So many lasers. What a pilot junk. Operative. The intervention core just signaled that their fleet is approaching the Yaki base. I'm working on it. wish to contribute to the war effort and to reap the spoils, now is the time to engage. I'm working on it. Crying out loud, how far did they make it? I think it's still got a whole system to go. Don't, don't give me that. Danger. Hazardous region detected. So many lasers. Oh, oh. No, no. All right, come on, warp. Lose the flight assist so I can carry some speed. Ooh, 
Why am I bumping into things? Oh. Man. There we go. Alright, flight assist disabled. Let's coast. Entering Barca's Cascade 17. Beauty. All right, we've got Terran fighters all over the place here. That's kind of nice. <laughs> I love that meme. It's so stupid. Okay. That Asgard needs to hurry up and get a move on like it is now beautiful all right we are making real progress again this is awesome Jump gate, matrix, number, seven, nine, B. Oh yeah, he's doing good. All right. Let's see some action here. Entering system matrix number seven nine B. The aqueduct Asgard. All right, this here is where the last Terran Asgard exploded. So we've now made it as far as being back to where we were. Let's see how it goes this time. Looks like I'm going to catch the Asgard very slowly. I want to give myself a little bit. I mean, really, I don't need to attempt to drift that gate because I know this AI is not going to drift the gate. The AI is not that smart. And he stopped. Okay. Oh, and he's getting into a firefight. That's Beautiful. just not good enough. That could be your last mistake. Let's go get into a firefight with him. Not like, you know, with him, with him. I'm not going to shoot him. But we'll fly up beside him. And we'll do some shooting.
Oh yeah. Yes. What? I can't see that? Why can't I see that? There we go. Time to wipe you out. You may live to regret that. Let me just sit there and wait for him to wiggle his way up there. Come on, you'll have to do better than that. Time to wipe you out. No. I'll get you for that. Don't run into him. Come on, Terran Asgard, do your thing. Tokyo. Oh, is he is he going after the solar power plant? Yes, he is. Oh heck yes. I wonder if he's gonna explode on the shoot. Now I have to babysit this Asgard and make sure he doesn't explode on the solar power plant. Man. Great. Just what I needed. Asgard. Solar power plant. We're gonna fly in from down low. But I can hopefully just hit all of those turrets without any trouble. Okay. Fuck that cube. That machine can actually shoot. Kiss your plasma guys goodbye. Come on. Kiss your plasma guys goodbye. Good enough. I'll get you for that. I'm going to wipe you out. Not good enough. Taking my sweet, sweet time disarming these stations really is really boring, but I would rather do this than lose again. <clears throat> so, let's see. There's one. Can I up the lot distance? Uh, no, it's already maxed. Darn it, I'm too far away to see these things. Two down. Oh, I saw the cursor. There it is. And 
pop. to collect the shield generator. Okay. Well, come on. There we go. Okay. And there should just be two more over here. Now, if this Asgard isn't actually coming over here, I'm going to be choked. No, no, there he is. But he's flying up because he's an idiot. If he flies above this station, he's going to be toast. Beauty. Okay. All the bottom guns are done. Which are what? Ventral guns? They're on the bottom. Imminent. Don't know where the Tokyos are with my reinforcements, <clears throat> but there's an Asgard, so hopefully this all works out. Now, I also did not see any defense modules, which I think is a good thing. storage pod. What's going on? Explode! Explode, storage pod! Oh yeah, my buddy's using his laser. Heck yeah, Asgard buddy! Hey, I'm too low to, like, you know, see you. Hang on. There he is. Yeah. I did not expect the storage module to be this tough. Explosion imminent. There we go. Okay. Good then. Now, the Asgard was shooting this one. So let's double up on this and hit it as well. Oh, and we've got Ukraine. <laughs> got the fighters engaging. So that's good. That's going to go poorly. Very, very poorly. Explosion imminent. Yes. Nice. All right. Come on, fighters, hold your ground. 
We got this. That was a waste of a laser beam. You spent most of it on the already exploded solar panels. Really? I mean, it's the AI. What am I expecting? Of course he did. Just the way it goes. Wow, can they not hit that fighter? Okay. 87%. Well, somebody hit him. Solar power plant. I think you might regret that. You're in serious trouble. I just want this to be over. Right, Tokyo's are a long way away. But their fighters are here. And look at all those defense drones. Defense drones? Drones. That's a lot of defense drones. Holy. Your pulse guns aren't even hitting, buddy. What? Grand Exchange Perseus is under attack? Oh, because of the cock. This is too much for me. Oh, come on, you can handle it, right? There's more of you than them. I think you got it. Okay, just about have all the smart chips delivered for, or just about have all the resources delivered for my next research project. All it's missing is the smart chips. And I know I put an order in for those, so that should be just fine. Explode already, jeepers. I mean, hang on, I am hitting this thing, right? Like my bullets are working. Oh yeah. My bullets work. All right. Yes, some cock. Yeah, I cock. You, uh, you're a real pain in my economy. Let me tell you. I'm buy defense modules for my stations. The problem is, it's not my stations that are getting attacked. It's my ships, and they're always going to get attacked out of out of range of my stations. So, I don't know. How much longer? Explosion. There end. we go, explosion. That wasn't your best move. Um, they might be close enough, actually. What can I do for defense modules? Absolutely nothing, because I own none of them. Uh, all right. I think I'm researching hacking defense modules. Uh, defense modules are... I probably didn't need this. Defense module blueprints are really cheap. It's fine. I think I'm going to just buy them instead of steal them, though. And then we can get ourselves uh, some get defensive on. platforms. Asgard. What are you working on here, Asgard? I mean, you haven't exploded, so, whoops. You may 
let's uh, let's not hit the Windows key. Yeah, see, he's just he's just doing a little wiggle. What they do. Solar power plant. The AI just wiggles. And you know, misses and stuff. Container, solar power plant. Come on, explode, explode. A new Asgard, maybe. If we complete the mission and the Asgard survives, absolutely. But only if it survives, because it uh, it screws up the the mission if I steal them as I learned taking over the Tokyo. So, no. We, he's the commander of the mission. I have to let him try. Unfortunately. That's just not good enough. I'm going to wipe you out. I wonder if you're gonna go after the other one too. I got a message. Wait, what? What's going on here? How did I. What did I complete that just got me mad amounts of rep with Hatipa? What's this message? Just promotion? Okay, I mean, that's fine. But what did I complete? Pause. Mission complete. I completed a mission? You can force it. <laughs> I had a mission to destroy Cock, and my patrol ships blew up a bunch of Cock, completed the mission, and got me the rep. Yes! I like it. I am okay with all of this. That was a pretty big bump, though, from plus 5 to plus 10. Whew. Get out of here. I like it. Okay, please explode now. Still no explosion. What's going on? Or if, like, I'm hitting a part of the station that just doesn't take damage or something. I don't know. I, I highly doubt that. I'm just... Spitball in here. Oh, now the Terrans are all over this one. Get out of here. 
damage. Complete attrition warfare. There's another one. Alright. More cock. Man, this other Asgard really needs to help me out here. Oh, he's shooting a thing they're rebuilding. Okay, that's fair. Explosion imminent. There we go. One more thing destroyed. Whoops. What would happen if the cock gets their own economy and destroyers? Um. What would happen? Um, for one, I would get very angry. Um. I would lose a lot of ships. I would probably lose a lot of stations. Um, it would be like X4 hard mode. I won't let you get away with that. Because I'm, the cock are in a very unique position to always be able to strike you anywhere. There's really no defending against them. Um, so it, it could lead to some really cool Please, gameplay, no. um, but I think it would be very, very frustrating. Full-on war, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Full-on war, but there would be no front line because the cot can show up anywhere. So it would be... Yeah, it's, it would be like the equivalent of urban warfare in space. It would be really nasty. And as the cock always prefer your mining ships, your economy would be under constant pressure. Which could be bad. Yeah, it would take a lot of effort to play that game, I think. Explosion imminent. Yes. Alright. One more down. Three to go. It would be interesting. Yeah, it, it would be interesting. Wow, big sweeping laser that did nothing. Way to go, Terran Intervention Corps. You're special. Oh, darn it, I overheated it. Shucks. Where 
Everything is over. Man, what a mess. Look at this. Tokyos are still just barely hanging on. Ooh, what are you? Another Tokyo. Alright, well, the only thing that matters is that Spear of Odin. As far as I'm concerned. Did I ever get those smart chips? Yes, I did. That's the sound of more cocks somewhere. Now, did I actually lose? Not since the courier. Okay. So that cock uh, incursion didn't actually cost me any ships. Very nice. I like, I like. Alright. Everything's cooled off. Let's shoot. I think they're trying to rebuild that solar panel again. Bunch of twits. Another Tokyo? Holy smokes! They've got four Tokyos in here. Oh, well, that actually makes sense. Because I had the original attack had an Asgard and some Tokyos. No, an Asgard and some Osakas. When we wiped, um, we ended up with two Tokyos. But I think those two Tokyos were already on the way, and by losing those two, we actually got another fleet. Which included another Asgard. What's going on with the Terrans? Um, well, I mean, the Terrans as in the Terrans, I don't know. Um, the Terrans as in what, why they're sending stuff? I mean... I don't know. Um, I, probably because they can? I mean, I'm glad they're here. I just hope that they don't get stuck and that they can actually keep flying for a while. Explode. No, it didn't explode. Because that are many Tokyos. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that is a lot of Tokyos. I don't know. I don't know why they decided Tokyos are the right ship to have. I would have much preferred them have you know, five Asgards, but that's not going to happen. If I had to guess, I would say it's somewhere in the AI code that they, that as a faction, the Terrans can only have one active Asgard at a time. And this is it. had to guess. And then Tokyos have fewer or, you know, no restrictions at all. And so when they have to build a fleet, we end up with Tokyos instead. Uh, Pandorian, they have more than one active intervention, can only have one Asgard. Oh, okay, gotcha. I mean, I'm, I, I'm sure the Terrans have have some kind of limit on them as well. Not 
Man, this structure bash could really use the help of that other Asgard. Come on, Terrans. It's just a matter of time till they fly into the Graviton turrets. Please no. Please don't. Don't don't jinx it. I can't I can't deal with losing allies to Graviton turrets. That's just depressing. Explosion. Yeah. Beauty. All right, two to go. And now they're rebuilding that thing as well. Okay. Uh, let's let's just clip their build storage a little bit. Come on. Terrans send more Asgards, we need them for our fleet. Yes! The fleet must grow. Give me. Alright. Now, can this thing explode? Apparently, that cannot explode. Alright. Anyways, so much for build storage. Hopefully that slows down their construction process. Yeah, big laser, buddy. Short lived. It's fine. It's worth it. I'm just happy you're here. Spear of Odin, you will get a participation trophy. I promise. Some days ago, you completed the split plot. Now you're building two Asgards at your shipyard. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I do not have the blueprint for it. I didn't think I could afford it. But I am a pirate, so stealing works just fine. Uh, right, I did get the smart chips I needed. I was just curious there. Takes some hours. Yeah, yeah. That's why you build a mega factory. So you can build six at a time. Then that couple hours of build time isn't as big a deal. Something in 18 billion? Don't see cock, which I think is what I was that alert was for. I have concluded the research. Nice. Thank you, Bozo. Sounds like they don't have enough build drones in their workforce as it should take on the build. Um The base build time is just about 60 minutes, isn't it? Get lost. You may live to regret that. Alright, loot crates? That big sweeping laser is really dumb, buddy. I don't know why you're doing that. 
does not do the trick. It's a shame you can't steal the blueprints of ships, you'd steal the plants for an eye. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think Egosoft made the eyes flyable. Um, so, as great as that would be, um, justification behind it, I think, is uh, because the AI or the Xenon are just computers. Nothing inside the ship could actually support Explosion human life. Imminent. Um, so boarding them is like impossible. I think is I think is the explanation behind that. I'm using some slaves to do all the building. <laughs> Time to wipe you out. I mean, are construction drones considered slaves? They aren't sapient, are they? If construction drones achieved sentience, we'd have uh, we'd. Uh, We'd have a bad time. Gotta say. You're in serious trouble. Not good enough. They would still work like drones, wouldn't they? Theoretically, yeah. I, mean, I, th I think there's just slightly more of a chance of a revolt if the building drones were suddenly sentient. It's not my ship. For a second, I thought that was the way it was overlaid. I thought it was one of mine. I'm like, why did? How did my ship get so busted? It's not. It's the Argon. The Argon are allowed to have busted ships. Doesn't affect me none. I think everything's going okay. We haven't lost any more ships. Since that distributor, and I fixed that, I built more. But I guess I could order up some more. Mercury. Courier. Okay. Four of them. Just a half. Big laser time. Explosion. Yes. Okay, one to go. One module to go. And then probably that thing, because it looks like they're trying to rebuild it. It would be interesting to watch how the Xenon would try to fight one of their own eyes. Ooh. That could be fun. Yeah, I don't know how that would work. I'll you. Man, AI Asgard really cannot aim that laser to save his life. Unbelievable. That is so bad. Literally misses everything important.
Gladius, solar power plant. Man, it's amazing how much damage I can lay down, and it's like, it's still the same percentage. It does nothing. Like, <laughs> compared to the... Compared to the, the laser face big gun, these pulse cannons do nothing. You're in serious trouble. Actually, all right. Crow, here, here's, here's some theory crafting. How, how would we, assuming we could board an eye and take an eye, how would we actually get one to fight another one? Would we pilot it ourselves, giving ourselves the best chance, or would we, would we have to rely on the AI doing it so that the the AI even is matched, to some extent, or they both kind of work the same? I'm, I'm pretty sure the Xenon AI code is very different than the code for, you know, say the Talati. So if you put a Talati captain in it and tell it to fight the Xenon Eye, you know, the game does actually deal with some amount of, you know, pilot personality. I wonder if I wonder if any Commonwealth pilot could actually effectively pilot a Xenon Eye. My instinct says no, because they can't even properly pilot their own ships. But I don't know, maybe it's worth... Uh... You'd want to try it both ways to see what's better, yeah? Explosion imminent. I mean, I'm more interested in what's entertaining more than what's better, but, but yeah, just watching, watching two eyes duke it out would be pretty sweet. As long as they don't both decide to start shooting. That would just suck. Alright, so once this station blows up, it's going to be interesting to see what that Asgard is going to go after next. Still no, man. And we have not encountered an I. Or a K or an XL of any kind. And as nice as that is, it does make me curious. So why is it so hard for, for this thing to not just sit there and point its laser at this and shoot when it can? Come on, guys. 1% hull? Oh. Beautiful. Does it go? Is it is it gone? Is it dead? No, what's left? Dang it. It's bringing back its storage module. Great. Where is the storage module? Right here. Okay, good, we're hitting. Now it's dead. Nice. 
Okay. Now, where... I'll wipe you out. Where is that Asgard gonna head? It's, it, it's gotta head for this, right? It's gotta be going for the other one? All right, well, we are going to have to try and find out... Oh, what's this? Uh, watching an eye destroy a Xenon station would give a better idea of how they destroy a normal station. You could set up better defenses to stop one. You're in serious trouble. Yeah? Yeah, what would that accomplish? You'd see... You'd see the eye definitely at its, you know, full strength. But it would have the the eye would have the disadvantage of having guns that were exactly the same range as the guns on the station, which means you might end up to in what is effectively a stalemate. But that would be cool to watch. It would be cool. All right, looks like the Spear of Odin is definitely going to go after this, this other power plant here. But we are going to have to go after that other power plant tomorrow. Because I am absolutely beat and falling asleep in my chair. So I am not going to be able to make it another hour. So we're going to call it. Oh. So... Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Because, as always, I have been Kane and Frost. You all have been awesome. Come hang out on Discord. There's a link in the in the about thing underneath my profile. Thank you very much for watching. And have a good night. Take it easy, Pandorian, Crow Dragon. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll try and find somebody to raid for you here. Let's see if anybody is uh, X4. Search feature is not working. Um, all right, that that raid feature is not not very friendly. I'm gonna just look on a regular old Twitch web page here. Okay, there are two people. I don't recognize either of them. They both have the exact same stream title and they both look like they have black screens. Um, I'm gonna take that uh, to mean that there's actually nobody playing X4. So we are going to just say goodbye. So bots, very likely. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Bzzz.